hello everyone in today's video i will continue the discussion the discussion which i have made in the previous video regarding telcot parsons functionalism and basically in today's video i will continue the discussion of our his agile model that is agil agile model the social change and his concept of pattern variable so these three things i will discuss in the present video so please keep watching and watch till the end as i have mentioned that society is like system and which has certain prerequisites and these prerequisites have to be uh, fulfilled for its survival so as i mentioned in the last video that four prerequisites adaptation goal attainment integration and latency and this again fulfills by the four institution today i will just elaborate these prerequisites and the associated institutions number one is adaptation adaptation means the adaptation of the individual with the society that is how individual adapts its himself or herself with the society that is individuals adaptation is very important individuals needs to control uh, up to certain extent the environment uh, for it for uh, his or her survival so here economy who uh, fulfills this uh, requirement there is economy uh, enables the individuals or the members of the society uh, to uh, gather the livelihood to earn the livelihood for uh, the survival second prerequisite is the uh, goal attainment here goal attainment is uh, the individuals uh, goal uh, towards the society that is uh, the individuals action and the process of interaction and uh, the uh, direction of the action towards the society that is whether individuals actions and the interactions are in proper direction or not so this is a very important prerequisites so who fulfills uh, these uh, prerequisites in the polity the polity sets certain the instructions that what should be the uh, what should be the goal of the individuals and how should they uh, act and uh, who will look after them there is who will govern them who will maintain governance in their society in their community in their place so it is the polity as uh, institution who fulfills this requirement by setting a goal for the individuals and maintaining a relationship between individuals action and the institutionalization of their action no. third important prerequisite as we know is the integration integration means the coordination cooperation and the <coughs> the harmony among the members of the society now the law is the institution who uh, maintains the integration who maintains the uh, cohesiveness and the harmony in the society law is not just for maintaining integration among the individuals rather law is also uh for maintaining relationship between individuals and the social institutions law is also for maintaining a relationship between individuals and the social institutions it sees whether individuals conform the social institutions or not because conforming social institution is very important for its integration if individuals or the members of the society do not conform the social institution so ultimately it harms it affects the society's order so ultimately the integration depends on individuals uh, conformity towards the social institution so law take care of this particular aspect of the society that means it fulfills this particular prerequisites <clears throat> last prerequisite is latency means the pattern maintenance it means that is the maintain maintenance of it means the maintenance of the values <clears throat> of the society then how the members of the society maintains the values or how society maintains the values these are certain institutions like family marriage the uh, religion who uh, helps the individuals to follow the norms values of the society and ultimately the pattern of the uh, means the values and society social norms get maintained 
so this is the maintenance of the patterns and fulfills by the family marriage religion education and other institutions now we will discuss about talcott parsons idea of the social change talcott parson also focused on the social change he explained described how social change is possible in the society because his analysis of the social system consists of the individual's action and the social structure so that is why he also considered the uh, phenomena called the social change but his understanding of social change is different from other uh, perspectives according to him it is necessary for the society to maintain equilibrium that is balance that we already discussed so now if society changes so society changes from one state of equilibrium to another state of equilibrium this is called the moving equilibrium that is society moves from one state of equilibrium to another state of equilibrium and this equilibrium and the this change of equilibrium means that one society uh, changes or the changes when occurs in the society uh, it becomes disorderly but again a new st uh, state of equilibrium uh, means the arises emerges in the society and society becomes orderly again so in this way society maintains its the change and the order that is change and order both reinforce each other there is change is uh, bringing a disorder in the society again the the order arises emerges in the society so change is also happening order is also maintaining so this is called moving equilibrium now another concept of talcott parson i will discuss in this video is social evolution and pattern variables according to talcott parson society evolve from simple to complex society and in this evolution from uh, simple to complex society the values are very significant part an aspect of the society because values evolve from the simple to the more complex so talcott parson basically uh, try to discuss the uh, pattern variables that is he categorized the values into two types there is two a uh, type of pet, uh, two type of values he mentioned and these uh, the these values are basically uh, evolve uh, from uh, the more simple to the complex i'll just give in this video a particular example there is a one point of this pattern variable because here uh, i need a slide and present ppt for uh, the more the effective explanation so this i will do in the next video but now i am just mentioning this how the value evolves from uh, one condition to one state to another state so one type of pattern variable is ascription that is the social status and the the owner the the position is ascribed in the simple society but modern complex society has the value called the achievement that is the social status the owner the positions are all achieved by the individuals but here one a very important point which uh, talcott parson pointed out is that that society we cannot demarcate uh, very uh, means the sharply on the basis of these two type of values that is in modern society you can find the ascription also so we cannot say that modern society is completely free from the value ascription so that is why uh, there is always a the interaction uh, between these two type of values but one thing is clear that a simple society evolved from uh, evolved from a primitive and simple stage to the complex stage due to the change in the values so change in the values means change from ascription to the achieved the value so in this way i will discuss about the pattern variable in the next video so please keep yourself connected with the channel sociology for life 
for more suitable videos and I will continue discussion in the next video about the pattern variable. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.